I'm Samantha Burford for WBONTV.com. There's a lot of activities and events happening at the Battle of Richmond Visitor Center. The first one being their holiday greeting cards that are going to our military service men and women. WBONTV is turning in the first one and we're excited to help out. available at Soft Shoe in Richmond. Here at the Battle of Richmond, we have more fun and the time to have fun's around Christmas time. Yeah. And but Christmas is celebrated all over the world. During the holidays is a happy time for a lot of people. But the first thing we do is during the month of November, we realize that not everybody gets to go home for Christmas and everybody wants to go home. But we have thousands of military personnel all over the world that don't get to come home for Christmas. So we thought, how can we send part of our home to them? How can we send Madison County to them? So we came up with the idea of Operation Stars and Stripes. And what we do is we ask people to go to the store, your favorite store, just get a box of Christmas cards, sign your name to it. You might want to put a little message in there like, thank you for your service or things like that. Sign your name, put Madison County, Kentucky, Richmond, Kentucky, Berea, Kentucky, it doesn't matter. Bring it out here to the Battle of Richmond Visitor Center. We'll box them up and send them off to an organization that makes care packages for the soldiers and sailors and Marines overseas. I think this is our fifth year. And how many cards would you say? I don't know how many overall, but last year... We mailed 67 pounds of cards. Well, another thing, we're, we're sending a little bit home. Uh-huh. Say a fella is, um, say he's in Iraq, and he gets this card, and he opens it up, and it says Richmond, Kentucky. Well, he's from Moorhead. We've sent him something from home. Well, I know where Richmond, Kentucky is. It makes them feel better, and we appreciate what they're doing. Especially right here, we just had Veterans Day. So. Just had Veterans Day, and... Um, They serve all of us, and we're proud of every single one of them. There a type of deadline for the cards? There is a deadline for the cards. It's Tuesday, November the 26th. That way we can get it to the organization that we deal with to give plenty of time to get it to where it needs to go overseas. And that's not the only thing that you guys are doing. Tell us what else. Not the only thing. We have made an exclusive agreement with Santa Claus's agents that on Sunday, November the 24th, from 2 until 4.30, he's going to be at Richmond Battlefield Park where the reenactment is. You can come and bring the kids, dress them up for Christmas. You can take their picture, and then you could use that picture for your Christmas card this year. He'll be in a period of um, clothing, Um, not like the Santa Claus you see today, but not so much like you see at the Civil War either. But he'd just be a little different. The event is free. But we do ask, if possible, to bring a package of new prepackaged socks for the disadvantage. Because during the month of December, we collect uh, warm, brand new socks for the disadvantaged. And last year, we raised, um, got almost 1,800 pairs of socks in three weeks. 1,800. 1,800 pairs. And this morning, I had a call, and when we're finished today, I'm going to pick up a 1,000 pairs from one place. Why socks? When your feet are cold, you're cold all over. And socks are the most requested clothing item at homeless shelters. You know, we could give them gloves and things, but come April, they don't need that anymore. They need socks every day. And back during the Civil War, if you read the letters and things, they would ask, can you send me a pair of socks? So it transcends from Civil War time to today. These socks will go to the Richmond Salvation Army Homeless Shelter. What we're able to do in three weeks will last them almost an entire year. You can go to the Battle of Richmond's Facebook page. That'll have the different events and things. Or if you can't do that for some reason or don't want to, just call right out here to the office at 624-0013. I'm more than likely going to be the one to answer the phone, and we'll get you taken care of. So someone can even just pull up, call you, you'll run out of their car. Pull up, come in, we'll throw them in the bin, and uh, we'll be ready to go.
When's the deadline for all of The deadline, the sock draft starts on December the 2nd and is over with on December the 18th. For more great holiday stories like these, check us out on WBONTV.com. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Roku, and of course on YouTube. I'm Samantha Burford.